Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Shapiro. I'm a uh, plastic surgeon certified by the American Board of Plastic Surgery, and I've been practicing in the Scottsdale Paradise Valley for, uh, area for over 21 years. Today, I'm going to talk about the difference between a mini facelift and a facelift. Uh, and people come into my office often requesting a mini facelift, and, and sometimes there's a little confusion about the different types of, of procedures that I perform. A mini facelift is something that generally I call a cheek lift. Uh, and a mini facelift generally approaches just the cheek area and does not approach the neck. Uh, so who is a good candidate for a mini facelift? Uh, and generally if you look in the mirror and were to pull a little bit on the cheek right there and elevate like that and you see some decrease of the jowl area, that's what a mini facelift would do or a cheek lift. Uh, so a good candidate is somebody who has minimal jowling, has some excess skin uh, along the cheek area and has moderately good skin elasticity. A bonus is somebody who has really nice pronounced cheekbones because the skin tends to drape very nicely over the bone and that helps the cheek lift last a little bit longer. Now the beauty of a mini facelift is oftentimes, almost always, that can be performed in my office under local anesthesia with some oral sedation. I can also add other things to that mini facelift in order to improve the result and that is occasionally doing someone's eyes in the office, doing some laser resurfacing, or actually doing some fat transfer to areas of the face. So the cumulative result is much better than the mini facelift alone. A formal facelift or a full facelift uh, generally lasts longer and is more complicated than a mini facelift. A full facelift or a smash facelift is something that I perform that addresses not just the skin but the deeper layers of the face. It addresses the muscles, the fat, and the skin at the same time and elevates the jowl and the mid face. That's the area beneath your eye and that actually will help fill in those areas with your own tissue. The full facelift also addresses the neck and gives someone a really beautiful jawline and gets rid of the turkey gobbler. Now the recovery for the full facelift is a bit longer than a mini facelift and generally has to be done in the operating room under some type of anesthesia with an anesthesiologist. A full facelift lasts longer and generally gives a better result that looks more natural and, and overall makes people look much, much younger and, and softer. The candidates for a full facelift vary. I've performed them on, on people in their 40s that may have you know, significant loss of volume or, or, or skin and, and jowl formation at early age, and that tends to run in families, or all the way up to 85, close to 90 I've performed facelifts. So it really just depends upon if you're a good candidate for either. Uh, and, and the only way to really tell that is to come in for consultation and let me give you an idea. Thanks a lot.